The Common Core defines analysis as the detailed examination of the elements or structure of text by breaking it into its component parts to uncover interrelationships in order to draw a conclusion. This means rather than ask students questions they can answer solely from their prior knowledge and experience, the standards call for students to answer questions that depend on their having read the texts with care. The middle school writer focuses on in-depth understanding of one text or one key source. Then the writer uses higher order thinking strategies in choosing and associating the ideas in their own writing, a depth of knowledge three. The response should point out the author's specific choices, describe how and why the author made those choices and for what particular reasons, to explain their significance and or impact on the text. Then draw a conclusion about the author's meaning or message. Text-dependent analysis, example number one. Authors develop characters with their thoughts, words, and actions. Write an essay analyzing how the thoughts, words, and actions support the development of Mrs. Jones' character trait as mother. Use evidence from the text. This is what the prompt might look like symbolically. Mrs. Jones's character trait as mother is the first reading element, and her thoughts, words, and actions is the second reading element. The prompt asks for a detailed examination of these two elements to uncover interrelationships in order to draw a conclusion about the author's message. The assignment begins with close reading. A careful reading of the text is necessary for a successful analysis. Close reading examines what the author says, how the author says it, and why the author says it. Often this is done with three separate reads, each with a different purpose. Students take notes as they read. Here's one example of what this could look like. For the first read, what does the author say? What's the gist? What are the story elements? Make sure to take time to share and talk about the notes the students have taken. A second read. How does the author say it? Identify the author's craft. Again, take time to share and talk about the notes the students have taken. A third read. Why does the author say it? You're looking for symbols, associations, interrelationships, conclusions. Take time to share and talk about the notes the students have taken. Now go back and reread the prompt. Write an essay analyzing how the thoughts, words, and actions support the development of Mrs. Jones's character trait as mother. The student will not use all of the material gathered during the close reads. The Common Core expects students to choose the strongest elements and explain their significance and impact on the author's message in an essay structure. Students will use an informational essay graphic organizer to choose the elements to be used in the essay. There are different ways the writer can approach the organization of their ideas in the essay. Here's an example for a younger writer. The first paragraph is used to restate the prompt in the writer's own words. It includes the title of the text and the author. Usually this is about two or more sentences. The second paragraph examines the words used by Mrs. Jones. The writer will describe how and why the author made those choices and for what particular reasons. The writer will explain their impact on the author's meaning or message. The third paragraph examines the actions of Mrs. Jones and their significance. Again, the writer will describe how and why the author made those choices and for what particular reasons. The writer will explain their impact on the author's meaning or message. The fourth paragraph examines the thoughts of Mrs. Jones and their significance. Again, the writer will describe how and why the author made those choices and for what particular reasons. The writer will explain their impact on the author's meaning or message. The fifth paragraph is used to sum up the essay. This is what it would look like in the informational graphic organizer.
an older writer could look at the essay differently. The essay is not a series of paragraphs, but instead a series of three intellectual beats. Beats could be comprised of more than one paragraph. The first beat presents text evidence. What did the text say concerning the prompt? The second beat discusses the author's craft and choices. How does the author say it? The third beat highlights symbols, associations, interrelationships, and conclusions. Why does the author say it? Often, a statement concerning a what-if-one-element-was-changed idea is included. How would changing this element change the character? Describing the effect of changing an element highlights the interrelationship between the elements looked for by the graders. The organization of ideas by the older writer closely resembles the different purposes in the close read. This is what it would look like in the informational graphic organizer. Both the younger and older writers need to explain how the development of the character traits provide the character needed for the story. Mrs. Jones has to be mom so that Roger has a chance to reach his hopes and dreams. The younger writer organizes their essay with the first paragraph focused on describing how and why the author uses the word son. The writer points out how many times it's used and explains why by pointing out the mother-son relationship created by the author. The student writer also discourses on the use of dialogue as a technique by the author. This organization pattern is continued for the actions and thoughts, each getting its own paragraph. So the younger writer conceives the essay as three big idea paragraphs joined with transition words. The intellectual rhythm stays flat throughout the essay. The older writer strives to organize their ideas across paragraphs. The early intellectual beat presents information, the what. This paragraph is an abbreviated version of the story, highlighting the important elements the author wanted to include to make sure that his message is understood. The next beat presents the how. The student writer steps outside of the story and comments on how the author uses the conventions of the writing craft. The story is mostly told through dialogue. There's no figurative language or imagery and little description of setting. The first half of the story is told in real time. The second half is told in summary. The last intellectual beat is the why, the most important part of the essay. The older writer has saved this for the end. Here, the student writer explains symbols, associations, interrelationships, conclusions. Why is Mrs. Jones a mother figure? Mr. Yu's message is so that Roger can be redeemed as a sinner. This is the beat that also includes the what if an element were changed. The allusion to Elvis Presley is replaced with an allusion to Michael Jordan. The older writer's essay builds towards a finish. It is more satisfying for the reader. The Common Core expects essays that point out the author's specific choices, describe how and why the author made those choices, and for what particular reasons, to explain their significance and or impact, then draw a conclusion about the author's meaning or message. Both the younger and older writer attempt this. The student finishes by rereading the prompt and their essay. Do the ideas in the essay address the two elements in the prompt? Is there a discussion of symbols, associations, interrelationships, or conclusions? Is text evidence provided? Finally, is the essay structure clear? Are the spellings and conventions correct? Good job! The writing process used to complete a first draft is addressed in How to Write in Fifth Grade. 
the videos teach the writer the structures, formats, and techniques used in essay writing. This is a depth of knowledge one and two.